You're welcome. Pleasure to be here. Uh, I was very flattered when I was contacted and invited to have a fireside chat with Kathy. I was no one else I could, I could imagine feeling comfortable enough as we're talking about public speaking. There was no one else I could imagine feeling comfortable enough to sit with and hang out with for a little bit and tell our story and answer some questions. Uh, I am very familiar with WICT. We'll go ahead and, and talk about that. Uh, I've been with Comcast. I'm working on year 17. Uh, only six of those years have been here in Colorado. Uh, you might hear an accent. I don't think I have an accent, uh, but I am from South Carolina originally. I was part of, uh, I've always been a part of WICT National, um, and I did attempt to be a part of WICT Carolinas. Uh, however, the, look, the main office and the, the hub for all the events, much like Denver is for Rocky Mountain, was in Charlotte, North Carolina. So it was, it was a good three and a half, four hours away, and so you had to work really hard at being a virtual member. And that's tough sometimes. From a national perspective, we get it, but when you start talking about your regional chapters and trying to engage in the organization, it became a little bit of a challenge. So when I moved to Denver, I was really excited to learn about the Rocky Mountain chapter and to be in a location that was a, had a, a, a much larger presence and a, a bigger organization. And at the point that I uh, joined the organization that Kathy was working for, she had just won Woman to Watch. So I had all this great incentive and, and uh, information to be able to lean in and understand more about uh, the chapter here. So that's been really phenomenal. Great. So as you've kind of grown into the WIC organization and, and you know been a woman to watch yourself, um, how has that kind of inspired you to um, really kind of reach out and encourage membership uh, from other folks, um, get them engaged? Because similar to you of 10 years ago, I moved here, I didn't know anybody. Um, you know, and coming from Montana, probably wasn't even as big of a, uh, as a transition as moving from uh, Charleston to come here. And, and it's, you know, you kind of look for those opportunities, not just to grow your career, but also to network and kind of build up that base of support as you kind of settle in and, and um, you know, start to get your sea legs, if you will, in a new location and a new job. So it's a, a great question, Kathy, and I encourage any of you, and, and don't worry about where you are in your career with, with your respective organizations. This entity, this organization will absolutely help you navigate that space, whether it's with your own organization or across the entire industry. So I encourage you to, sometimes overused, lean in uh, and really engage network, build partnerships. These types of events are the exact opportunity where you're gonna have a more intimate setting and be able to really get to connect with folks. The Walk of Fame and the Tech It Out events are also phenomenal. They're huge. They are magnificent events to attend but may not necessarily be a good first event if you're just trying to get your foot in the door and understand and meet people. Look for the smaller, uh, I would encourage you to look for the smaller events like this where you really can connect and network with folks in a more intimate setting and it's gonna pave the way for you to have some great relationships. 